Okay guys, second video on this mixer, the JB Systems, Systems MX3 USB mixer. So, I already showed you uh, how it looks and you probably saw the USB input selection right here and the USB connection at the back. So, you can connect this up to your computer, but what can you do with it? Well, if you connect it to your computer, you can stream one or two music sources from your PC to the mixer which you can use to mix and send to the amp or your speakers. You can also stream music back to your PC for recording. So I'll first show you how to hook everything up. Hooking this up is very easy. You have the two USB um, input connections and you put one or two USB cables like you would use for a printer in here and the other end of these cables of course goes into your laptop then um, this will install on your computer your computer will recognize this um, as a sound card actually two sound cards because it connects to two cables so because of this USB and you already have this mixer you don't need a second sound card like this cheap thing or you don't and you don't need converter cables like these I'll already also show you how to set um, in the set the sound cards up in your DJ software. All right, so you need to go into your settings from your DJ software to the sound setup. You select your input if you have one. I don't. Your output should be external mixer. You select two cards, and then you need this you M3. It has this title, USB Audio Catech. This is number one. So this will be USB 1 um, on your mixer and USB 2 on your mixer for the second part. And then you can choose your left deck will be the first deck, so USB 1 will be, on, will be on the left of your mixer and the right deck on the second part. That's all. If you then press play, it will play through your speakers. The other thing you could do with the USB connection was record. So if I go to Audacity, for example, if you're recording now, I can click record, and it will record whatever I send through the master. So that would be the same as record output. So if I play with the volume faders or the EQ or with the second channel on the mixer, it will record that, not only what it sends through it. So Audacity will have recorded whatever I did on the mixer. I don't know if you can hear this inside my laptop speakers. But maybe you'll have to take my word for it. So to end this video, I'm just going to play two tracks through the different channels on the MX3 mixer. Just a second, I need two hands for this. So, I'm going to try to film this. So two channels on virtual DJ, two cables going to the mixer, USB 1, USB 2, both up, frustrated in the middle. Okay, bye.